one of the common retirement plan which is available for everybody who works is 401k plan and 401k plans allow you to save for retirement and manage your retirement savings on your own now 401k plans are basically as a result of a one of the sections of IRS and if you've been looking at news recently you will see that there's a lot of news about 401k plan because one of the founders of 401k plan idea Ted Bena uh, he created this particular interpretation of uh, act which was passed and that particular thing led to the foundation of 401k plans so today if you're working for any company it's most likely that your company is not giving you a fixed pension when you retire what it gives you is a defined contribution plan or called as a 401k plan so in a 401k plan you can put two types of money you can put pre-tax money and you can put post-tax money now the combined limit for pre-tax post-tax plus employee match is 69,000. Many companies do not offer you the ability to push post-tax money. The post-tax money is typically in colloquial language called Roth 401k. So if your company is one of the companies which can allow you to make both kind of contribution which is a normal 401k and a Roth 401k, it's a very good idea. It will allow you to save. What are the common, like, you know, what is the contribution limit for 2024? Let's look at, like, contribution limits for 2024. And when you look at contribution limits for 2024, what you are going to see is the contribution limit for 2023 is 23,000. So you can save $23,000 in your 401k for a year. This does not include the matching amount, which is only the contribution limit by the employee and the employer can contribute more to that. Most of the companies will match between 3 to 6 percent of your salary or your contributions to 401k. Now, if you are 50 plus, then you can save additional 7,500. So your to total becomes 30,500. Now, in addition to this 30,500, the total combined which you can put in, and this is for pre-tax, right? And this contribution limits of 23,000 and 7,500 are for pre-tax. But if your company allows, or if you have a plan which allows you to put Roth 401k also, then the combined limit is 69,000. And if you are 50 plus, the combined limit will be 69,000 plus 7,500. So you can potentially save a lot of money in your 401k if you understand this particular uh, thing. Now most 401k plans have a company decided set of mutual funds which you can invest in. So the company will decide that uh, you have basically these 23 or 24 options in your mutual uh, funds which are available. And those funds options are decided by the company and many times you don't have a choice. Some companies have a good selection of mutual funds, some companies have a very poor selection of mutual funds. And you are at the mercy of the company in terms of how much what you can do. In addition to that, uh, almost all the plans or all plans have also the options of what is called as target date funds and in many plans by default you are put into a target date funds. Target date funds are funds which are basically if you are going to be retiring after say uh, 20 years and it is 2024 so your money will be put into a target date funds uh, 2044 so that means the mutual fund company automatically adjust uh, your allocation as your age progresses. So target date funds are another option which is available in many, uh, most mutual, almost all mutual funds have that option. In addition to mutual funds which are related to equity, uh, all the funds will have an option related to bonds. Fund. Now if you want to make money in your 401k, you must do the first one thing and which is the most important thing and which is to max out contribution. If you can max out the contribution of 23,000 that itself is going to put you on a path to have by the age of like if you start 
maxing out at 23,000 at the age of say 30 and you're going to retire at 30, 65 years, 35 years, that itself is going to put you on a path to make a million dollars. Now the catch-up contribution, if you start making the catch-up contribution of 30,500 and if you do it for 15 years, like say if you're 50 year old and you start doing that contribution and by the age of 65 by retirement, you're also likely to make a lot more money if you can just max out. So my advice would be to max out uh, your total contribution. In addition to that, if you are, it is possible for you or if you have the money, then you should also put additional money post tax if your company offers into a Roth 401k. Roth 401k are 401ks where you don't get a tax benefit in the year in which you put the money, but once you put the money, whatever growth happens in that money is never taxed. And for younger people, uh, it is a much better way to save for retirement. Instead of putting your money in a 401k, you should actually put it in a Roth 401k if you can understand the nuances of Roth 401k. So once you have the money in a 401k, how you grow it is also important. And this is where you can use the strategies which are commonly used and one of the strategies which is commonly used is to use index funds. So you can allocate your money into index funds. Uh, there are like SPY is an example of an index fund or a QQQ is an uh, example of an index fund or IWM is an example of an index fund. And in addition to that, you have companies themselves offering index funds. Vanguard has its own S&P 500 index fund. Schwab has its own S&P 500 uh, ETF and Fidelity also has its uh, ETF. And some of them are lower cost than even SPAN. But that's one way of growing your uh, 401k. Now, if you want to like really improve your 401k returns, then uh, you have to really look at like an, a, allocating more money to technology sector because technology sector so the last uh, last 20 years 30 years has done better than the S&P alone but along with that the risk increases so to summarize if you want to make money in a 401k and if you want to save a lot for retirement first thing is max out your retirement contribution if you can max out the retirement contribution up to 69,000 if allowed that is going to allow you to put large amount of money for retirement. If your company doesn't allow that then max out at least 23,000 if you are 50 plus 23,000 plus 7,500 and after that try and make allocations into low cost funds so that you can benefit on an average the S&P has gone up around 11% in the last 20 30 years so that itself compounding can increase your returns if you can do that so for one case something which is an essential understanding which everybody who has a job needs to have and needs to understand how for one case work and how to use them